welcome back to Dave Plays Games and we are back in World of Tanks once again and today we are joint we are watching real Iron Man in his T-37 American T-6 light tank now this is a pretty pretty tough matchup for the T-37 there are many five tier nines on each side in fact there's six on his side and five on the enemy side tier nine tank so very top heavy matchmaking there only a couple of tier sevens on each team and this is going to be a tough match for the T-37 light tank he's got a I would imagine he's going to play fairly passive but let's have a look see what he does he's, looks like he's going to be very aggressive to start with he's not gone the way I thought he would not, the, not gone the way perhaps I would have gone to start with knocking down some walls He's just waiting, seeing what's coming this way. He's got the STI and the Tiger II coming this way, which is something. The 103 is pinging the map, I'm not sure why. He's saying, oh, you're not far enough forward. Well, they've only just got there. They're still moving forward. T-37. Okay, so he doesn't want to accidentally get rammed by one of his own teammates here. Uh, Panther 2 that either he spotted or the Tiger 2 has spotted. Possibly the, t probably the Tiger 2 actually. This is what Iron Man was looking at. He was trying to get into this view so he can see over the top. It's difficult. He's just waiting at the moment now. I'm not sure why. Not doing much for his team at the moment. Can he get into the game. He's, uh, he's looking for a tank that he can isolate I think. Yeah, He's looking around, he's using the, the zoom out mod to look for tanks that he can isolate. That Panther 2 might might get isolated. In fact that Panther 2 is going to get isolated. He's just waiting. He doesn't want to go all in on this Panther 2 because Panther 2 will be able to probably kill him. Put one in. Panther 2 is making a run in his arty. He's going for the engine shot. He's not getting any damage in. Got a critical hit. That was poss possibly the engine. Got a bounce there. That one missed. He's got to go after that Panther. I'm surprised he didn't go after the Panther, didn't chase him down. Um, perhaps worried about where the T10 and the STI might have side shots on him. But that Panther 2 is in a very dangerous position, taking out, it's taken out two of his artillery. Make sure the shot goes in. There's the kill. 441 damage into that Panther. He's not going to hurt the STI. He probably will hurt the T10, but I would imagine he's not going to hurt the STI. So this is perhaps a bit silly. He's trying to get the tracking shot. The STI, oh, that was bad. He's finally got the tracking shot. Can he keep him tracked? Didn't penetrate the armor, but he think he kept him tracked. Now, there's only five of them left on his team, having that, let that Panther 2 through. Pershing's coming in. He's got to get out of there. Surely the Pershing's going to... Well, the T-37, I wouldn't prioritize it. There's... Five tanks left on each team. Two of them are here, and it's a three on two here. Panther 88 and the Pershing against the Tiger 2 and the STI. And the T30 and uh, Iron Man's T37. So he's got to try and help. While the Panther 88 is looking the other way, he's going for the tracking shots. Tracked him. Tracked. Didn't, that didn't track. Where's the Tiger 2 going? Tiger 2 has run away and ignored the Panther 88. Thousand damage there though. Oh, the Pershing track only tracked him. He got away with that. Now is he going to try and chase down the Pershing or not? He's thinking about it, but the Tiger 2 is coming in as well. He's dodging artillery by the looks of it. Alright. 
Let's go behind. That one didn't go through. Tiger 2 is now in the way. The Pershing's trying to play well and keep the Tiger 2 between him and the T-37. Tiger 2 finishes him off. But 1200 damage there in the T-37. Now what can Iron Man do against the T-10? I, I mean Pershing and STI and the Tiger 2 against the T-10 sh the they should win but this T-10 is a good player knows what he's doing perhaps Iron Man should think about going after the arty take them out of the game make sure that they're gone and then he can cap although the T-10 could get back to cap and make sure he doesn't drown himself accidentally in the river here again he's pushing through the town he's going after arty Hoping he doesn't bump into the T10 round the corner. Is he going to go up the slope? He is. He's going to go up the steps. Good use of the map here. Knows that once he gets up here, he might be able to get spots on the RT without them spotting him. Doesn't see anything. Is he going to come? Yeah, he's going to come up here. He's going to try and put some shots. He's loading the APCR now he can't guarantee damage with he's can he finish off the T10 no T10 got away but he knows that the batch at RT has moved so the question is now is he going to go after the batch at RT or, or is he going to go after the M12 the M12 has been spotted one reloads AP the M12 straight away moves forward was in a position to get down that hill very quickly goes through the water looking for the bat chat artillery STI is fired can he get to the bat chat and get the kill before the STI gets around the corner kills the bat chat the M12 is there oh he gets taken out by the M12 the M12 could obviously could see him coming and then the M12 gets taken out by the STI what a shame there that he got taken out right at the end there but well played throughout I feel feel he could have gone after the Panther uh, 2 when the Panther 2 went through on the arty to try and save his arty a bit um, just to try and slow him down perhaps get closer make the Panther slow down make it easier for the arty to hit him um, but luckily is STI and the Tiger 2 played well as well as the T55A by looks of it had an okay game um, and he managed to kite round getting decent damage into the T10 into the Pershing into the Panther 88 um, and a little bit into the STI as well very well played for a tier 6 light tank in a t hev heavily tier 9 match let's have a look at the post game stats Okay, so we can see that Iron Man picked up an ace tanker there for his role in that game. The tier 6 light, remember, in a tier 9 game. He also picked up uh, 1,643 damage in 2 kills, 1,237 base experience. So well played to him, top on experience by quite a long way. The Tiger 2 and the STI both had good games to help him out there. And he was, you know, working, the three of them were working really quite well to take down people like the Panther 2, the Panther 88 and the Pershing um, and some other tanks as well but yeah they worked really well together to finish that off nicely shame he got taken out by artillery at the end but there you go finally 26 shots fired, 24 hit, 15 penetrations um, 357 damage from more than 300 meters I think that came against the Panther two that went went through and he got 1500 spotting damage as well um, and nice bit of profit even though he fired I think he fired some premium some premium rounds as well there it's so well played to iron uh, if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a like please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye for now